The next hour, Elise, thank you. And happening tomorrow, the Portland City Council set to debate the future of the Joint Office of Homeless Services. Yeah, the office has come under fire in recent years. As a matter of fact, there's really nothing joint about the city-county relationship. Some city commissioners calling for an end to that partnership. The Joint Office oversees a $225 million budget and 95 employees. This also comes as the mayor fights for millions in funding for his sanctioned campsite plan. Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega-Peterson sent Coin6 a statement today saying in part, I'm supportive of funding for temporary alternative shelter sites and will advocate for dollars to be dedicated to that through this process. But ultimately, the decision is in the hands of the Multnomah County Board. We know that the public wants to see the city and county working together. In fact, it's absolutely necessary if we have any chance of solving a humanitarian crisis on our streets. And it's a big issue in our entire region. And now in the search for solutions to tackle the homeless crisis, one local county is taking input from people who'd be impacted by proposed changes. Jamie Seymour, live with a look at some ongoing efforts. Uh, where are you at now, Jamie? Jeff, Liz, you know, this is a problem that is the entire region is seeing from here in Portland all the way to Washington County to Clackamas County and Washington County in particular saw a drop in people experiencing homelessness and while they've credited work like adding 400 shelter beds officials say these are just some of the solutions in the works. We are going to be the emergency room in our community responding to homelessness until we address these larger economic conditions. During the most recent point in time count, Washington County reported 773 people experiencing homelessness, down more than 4%. And they credit efforts like the voter approved Metro supportive housing services measure, helping boost shelter beds and affordable housing. But those are just the first steps in tackling the housing and homelessness crisis in the region. Others, county officials are taking directly to the community. Regulates camping on public property. One in a series of planned meetings with community members, officials met with residents Tuesday evening to go over one of the new measures, an ordinance designed to reduce unsanctioned camping and get people into available shelter beds that would also limit camping to five days. That's expected to go in place July 1st. Other measures in the works, safe rest villages similar to what had popped up around Multnomah County. And sometimes uh, the fastest shelter capacity we can bring on are temporary pod style shelter programs uh, that can be picked up and set down and, and prepared in a matter of months. One in its early stages could soon bring those safe rest pods to the extra parking lot of the Aloha United Methodist Church, which the pastor says was land not being used. And after seeing many unhoused come to them for help, this is one way they can give back. I hope that the neighborhood can be part of it. You know, this is not a us versus them thing. Um, we have served the community for many years. Carol Greeno works with a local organization helping families get out of homelessness. She came to the Tuesday meeting to learn about the new ordinance and hear from her neighbors. It's a complex problem and we have to be patient. We're not going to solve it in a day. We're working hard to solve a lot of it, but it's going to take time. As for those Aloha safe rest pods, the community will have another chance to weigh in on those on June 5th. Coin6 is going to continue to follow up on this, and we have information about that meeting on our website, coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News.